Ten days ago, I brought together the CEOs of commercial labs at the White House and directed them to immediately begin working on a solution to dramatically increase the availability of tests. Other countries have called us and worked with us, and they're doing similar things or will be doing similar things. As a result of that action, today we're announcing a new partnership with private sector to vastly increase and accelerate our capacity to test for the coronavirus. We want to make sure that those who need a test can get a test very safely, quickly, and conveniently. Throughout this process, Mr. President, you put the health of America first, but you brought the best of America to address it. And it's not just at the federal level. As you said, Mr. President, we've been working with states across the country. We issued broad guidelines from CDC for every American. But this week, at your direction, we tailored specific recommendations from CDC for New York, Washington State, California, Massachusetts, and Florida. And we've been in continuous contact, as you said, with governors around the country. Mr. President, you have forged a seamless partnership with every state and every territory in this country to put the health of our nation first. But today, I, I trust that people around the country that are looking on at this extraordinary public and private partnership to address the issue of testing with particular inspiration. But through a very collective action uh, and shared sacrifice, national determination, we will overcome uh, the threat of the virus. I also announced Wednesday night, following the advice of our medical professionals, who are doing a tremendous job, and we appreciate it very much, that we're suspending the entry of foreign nationals who have been to Europe in the last 14 days from entering the United States. Citizens, permanent residents, and our families, any of the families uh, returning from Europe will be subject to extra screening as well as self-isolation for a period of 14 days. The spirit and the will of our nation is unbreakable. We will defeat this threat when America's tested America rises to the occasion. And to those families and citizens who are worried and concerned for themselves and their loved ones, I want you to know that your federal government will unleash every authority, resource, and tool at its disposal to safeguard the lives and health of our people. So we're with you every step of the way. No nation is more prepared or more equipped to face down this crisis. After you tapped me to lead the White House Corona Task Force, Mr. President, you said, this is all hands on deck. And you directed us to immediately reach out to the American business sector, commercial labs, to meet what we knew then would be the need for testing across the spectrum. And today, with this historic public-private partnership, we have laid the foundation to meet that need. And for Americans looking on, by this Sunday evening, we'll be able to give specific guidance on, a, on when the website will be available. You can go to the website, as the President said. You'll type in your symptoms and be given direction whether or not a test is indicated. And then at the same website, you'll be directed to one of these incredible companies that have, are going to give a little bit of their parking lot so that people can come by and do a drive-by test. And Mr. President, I want to join you in thanking Walmart and CVS and Target and Walgreen. These are companies that are synonymous with communities large and small where people come together, and now they're going to come together to meet the needs of the American public. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. The action I am taking will open up access to up to $50 billion of very importantly, very important and a large amount of money for states and territories and localities in our shared fight against this disease. In furtherance of the order, I'm urging every state to set up emergency operation centers effective immediately. You're going to be hearing from some of the uh, largest companies and greatest retailers and uh, medical companies in the world. They're standing right behind me and inside of me. I'm also asking every hospital in this country to activate its emergency preparedness plan so that they can meet the needs of Americans everywhere. The hospitals are very engaged. We'll remove or eliminate every obstacle necessary to deliver our people the care that they need and that they're entitled to. No resource will be spared, nothing whatsoever. 
Ten days ago, I brought together the CEOs of commercial labs at the White House and directed them to immediately begin working on a solution to dramatically increase the availability of tests. The emergency orders I'm issuing today will also confer broad new authority to the Secretary of Health and Human Services. The Secretary of HHS will be able to immediately waive provisions of applicable laws and regulations to give doctors, hospital, all hospitals, and healthcare providers maximum flexibility to respond to the virus and care for patients. This includes the following critical authorities. The ability to waive laws to enable telehealth, a fairly new uh, and uh, incredible thing that's happened in the, in the not-so-distant uh, uh, past. I tell you, what they've done with telehealth is incredible. It gives uh, remote doctors visits and hospital check-ins the power to waive certain federal license re requirements so that doctors from other states can provide services in states with the greatest need. Number two, the ability to waive requirements that critical access hospitals limit the number of beds to 25 and the length of stay to 96 hours. The ability to waive the requirements of a three-day hospital stay prior to admission to a nursing home, big thing. The authority to waive the rules to hinder hospitals' ability to bring additional physicians on board or obtain needed office space. They can do as they want. They can do what they have to do. They know what they have to do. Now they don't have any problem getting it done. The authority to waive rules that severely restrict where hospitals can care for patients within the hospital itself, ensuring that the emergency capacity can be quickly established.